Hello, Luis Molina. How are you, sir? Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening. And Evelyn, we have Irene, we have Marlon. All right, we have Leah. Hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah. And yes, know? it is. It's raining by my house too. Yeah, so do I. Hmm? So do I here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, Luis, where do you say you live? Are you took Sepeque, correct? Uh, no, next, maybe, but uh, I live in Calle, in Main Street, uh, Bernal, in the Finnish. In the at corner. the end of Bernal. Uh -huh, at the end of the Bernal, between Calle al Volcan, Calle al Volcan, Calle al Volcan, Finnish, the Calle al Bernal. Okay, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, maybe today it has rained 90% of the day by Rain my house. For you, house. Yeah, 85 or 90% of the day today it has rained. Okay. Not mm -hmm. very hard, mm -hmm. but yes, it has rained. It's slowly uh, always raining. Yes, it's calm, but it has rained. What happened with the sun and your sun up here? No, the sun. Oh, you see my 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 screen. Your sun. Sun, sun, el sol. Oh, to the sun. Sun appear and your sun. The sun appear and your sun. Que apareció en tu zona. In your zone. And your neighborhood. Uh, no, we no? have no, we had no sun today. Yeah, here, yes, here in, in, in Tuxtepeque and San Ramon and La Bernal up here. One hour, maybe, the sun. Okay, no, in our case, we have not, we have not. Okay. Moises Urbina say in a Twitter, uh, we show to be attending because between 40, 14 and 15, uh, there are the possibility the new system uh, raining. Hurricane, of, uh, hurricane. On, on Central America, sorry? Hur hurricane or on the rain or purple or, rain. Or, uh, <laughs> Again, the next week. Oh. Next week is going to rain again? Yes. Moises Urbina say in a Twitter. Um, I don't like Moises. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But, but it's, it's better uh, to be um, precavid. Cautious? I think, I think so. I think I think Moises Urbina did something very stupid. <laughs> uh, no, no, he did something Why? very stupid. Why? Because okay, wait. I think Moises Urbina is a very professional and uh, what news anchor. Interviewer. Yeah. Okay, like we know we know that he is from TSAS, so we know who his boss are. But he does a good job pretending he is neutro, right? Ah, yeah. But, you know, but he's a very good professional. But I think on Tuesday or on Monday, he said something like, y al parecer la tormenta ya se movió a la costa norte de, dice, Tanto alboroto de esto de alerta roja, y bah, empezó a hablar de que se hizo. Y yo me quedé como, ah, oh, man, votó, votó ahí su profesionalismo. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Pero igual. <laughs> Sus jefes. Y you no, know, so, no tenía que haber dicho nada. O lo podía haber dicho como, 
más profesional, ¿no? Okay. Pero dice, pero tanto escándalo que hicieron de alerta roja y no pasó nada. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Um, here, here in El Salvador, maybe the danger was uh, less, but in, in Honduras, in Honduras is bad. Very hard the situation. Yes. Honduras is bad. And Nicaragua, Nicaragua, we never know. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. In the north. Sorry? And, uh, in, the head. in some parts of um, Guatemala, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. North. North Sun. The North Sun. Yeah. El Salvador, we have, man, this year 2020. It's incredible. 2020. COVID, yeah. the storm, son temblor falta, really? Yeah. Yes, I have a little temblor, but no earthquake. Yeah, that, that's all we need. <laughs> yeah, I see Evelyn, I see Irene, I see Marlon. Lucia Pacheco. Hello, class. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, class. Okay, remember what we were doing yesterday? Yes, I remember. What were we doing? Should go there. We were doing models. I have to mask and have better. Have, oh yeah, we have better, we didn't finish. That's what mm -hmm. we're gonna do yeah. today. You have better finish. Uh -huh. Hey Lou, you have long hair. Really? <laughs> no, sure. Yes, I I always uh, got a, a ponytail. Yes, a ponytail. <laughs> yes, but, but now I take a shower. Hace poco y me lo dejé suelto. Okay, I just took a shower. I just took a shower, yes. Cuando no dice acabo de, usamos I just <laughs> and the verb in past. Okay. Like imagine if you if you come to my house, oh hi, come in. Are you hungry? Oh no, thank you. I just ate. Okay. Just ate. Acabo de comer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cuando uno dice por educación y, y tienen lasaña, like, oh my god, that looks good. Y no ha comido. Uh, I go, no, no, thank you. I I, I just ate. <laughs> Yeah, I just say thank you. <laughs> All right, um, let me see. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Can't, can't. Could, what is the past a negative of could? Couldn't. Couldn't. Aquí le va una pregunta. ¿Saben dónde poner esta, la, la apostrofe? La apostrofe, sí. ¿Dónde va la apostrofe? After N. Between N and T. Between letter N and T. Ok. Good. Siempre va en la letra que se quita. Ok. Porque se acuerda. Ok. okay. Ejemplo. Can. Can't. 
Pero can't is a contraction of cannot. For example, the original is cannot. Entonces, cuando hacemos contraction, we take the O, and ahí va la apostrophe. Okay, next we have would. Wouldn't. 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 Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Is correct when you type? Cannot, but todo unido? <laughs> oh, yes. Clement is cannot, it's va unido. Okay. Pero hay gente que también lo dice, can not. Mm. Uh, thank Okay, um, me faltó una de ayer, no. Can, could, should. How you better, you better, must, must. Ahí está must, have to mm -hmm. and must. Have to, ask, sure, no, no. here is all. El, okay. Would you mind? Oh yeah, would you mind? Thank you. Okay, so we have can, could, would, would you mind, should, shouldn't. Let me see. Um, have to and must and have better. Irene. Yes. Hi. Just simple, real quick. What is can? Can is an ability. Very good. What is good? Good is the best of can. Very good. All right. Thank you. Um, Evelyn, what is wood? Is like a permission or a request? Okay. It's a conditional action, remember? Um, okay. Yeah, it's permission. Excuse me, would you mind? Would you give me? Or I would go, I would go to the beach if you invite me. Remember, you need you need an if. Y en buen salvadoreño, Lu, ¿qué es would in Spanish? Would. Yes. Ia. 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 Hace el verbo ia. Comer, comería. Beber, bebería. Ir, iría. All right. Next we have, let me see. Luis Molina, can you tell me the difference between have to and must? What what do they mean, the two? Have to and must. Uh, I remember uh, yesterday, the must, you can use a, a legal situation or a mandatory, mandatory situation. Okay. But have to is different, it's slowly. Uh, the order is you can see or not can see to do something, or you, you can to do something or not can to do something. 
you can to do something or you cannot you cannot to do something have to okay mm, yes 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 i would say maybe 80 percent yes mm -hmm. okay leah what do you think is have to and must uh, yesterday, yesterday you said that two forms are dissimilar, but what, what are the two forms? What are they? Have, have to must and must have to and must are similar, but uh, have to is um, option optional, but uh, and must is imperative. Imperative because most is something that your boss say you, and uh, have to is uh, one partner say you. For example, the boss say you. Um, here, all people use mascarillas, yes, and the partner say, uh, uh, David. This the the boss say yesterday that we need use have to use mascarilla. Is correct? Okay. Okay. Moralist. Moralist. Okay. No. No. It was very good. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Good. Uh, Irene. Yes. What is the difference between have to and must? Have Did to. you listen to Luis and Leah's explanation, correct? Now okay. give me your explanation. Uh, must is like mandatory because it is um, like legacy or something like that. And have to is mandatory as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very yeah. difficult to hear you in this moment. I can't. Really? I can't hear you. Well, me, I, I don't know of the class. Okay, let me see my microphone. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you better. Okay. Well, must is mandatory. Is like a legal or authority. It have to is more, I don't know how you can explain that. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Everybody did a very good job. So listen, have to and must, the two are obligations. So what is the difference? Oh, okay, the difference is that must is for legal and authority. Okay. En pocas palabras, más es cuando un tema ya delicado. Si el, el tema ya es de legalidad, autoridad, ya se usa must. Se puede usar have to y must en dos situaciones. A, you, you must, you must close the door or you have to close the door. The two are correct. A, you have to eat, you must eat. The two are correct. Pero si estamos hablando ya en tono legal o de autoridad, ya solo es must. I am your doctor. I say you must stop smoking. You must do exercise. You must drink water. I am a doctor. I am authority. Okay. Next is have better. Or, pero,
had better or. Realmente la gente ya no dice you had better. La, la gente solo dice you'd better. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. You better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pow. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> es a youth better. Es mm -hmm. una advertencia. Okay. Uh, okay. Por ejemplo, la canción le está diciendo a los niños. You better not cry. Sería mejor. Sería mejor. Algo así. Me. More or less. No. En pocas palabras, you'd better es más vale que. Ah. Es como una amenaza. <laughs> sí, es una advertencia. ¿eh? Y también puede ser una amenaza como, hey, you better pay me or I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Cuando salían de parranda, ¿qué le decía a su mamá? You better be here at 10 p.m. or don't come back. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan? Más vale que estés yes. aquí a las 10 o mejor ya no vengas. <laughs> so that expression, you better, you have to give you better and the consequence. La gente que mucho fuma y, y el doctor le dice, hey, you better, you better stop smoking or you will die. Okay, so everybody, can you give me an example, Luis Molina, can you give me an example of you better? Entonces aquí puse, look, you better, el verbo, por ejemplo, lo que les digo, You better stop. You better stop. Stop is my verb. You better stop smoking or you will die. Y aquí, you will. Example, um, nice uh, you better use a mask or you're sick. You uh -huh. will be sick. You will be sick, yes. Como, hey, you better use a mask or you will be sick. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Always we use had for I, you, she, he. I don't know if, if I explain what I try to say. No, I, I don't understand you. Please um, give me an example. Uh, okay, had. H A D. We always use had for first person and third person. Oh yes. Uh, uh, it, actually, look, this is the correct form, but ya casi na nadie lo usa así. Todos lo usan así. Use better. Uh, okay. Use is the contraction of you have better. Mm, okay? okay, but very good question. Okay, now listen, I'm going to give you um, a situation and, and, and you please give me a uh, you better. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yes, Luis. After better is necessary to use infinity or only the bird without two you better to visit you better oh good question no you uh, in, the verb only the verb infinitive the verb okay 
You better go. You better stop. You better eat. Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay, Luis. Luis Molina. Okay, you're... You no, better... Uh, no, wait. I'm oh. going to give you an example, and you please tell me... Tell me you better. Luis Molina, you know what? I have a problem. Okay. Um, I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Okay. Give me a advice or... Okay, uh, teacher, you better, you better stop the, the cigarette because it's dangerous for your health. Uh, the cancer, for example, you in your mouth is danger. Okay, it's, but in this case, I said yeah, must should. Should. I I me está aconsejando. You should. You should stop because it's bad. It's dangerous. Pero con you better, me está advirtiendo. Entonces okay. me tiene que decir la consecuencia. You should better stop the cigarette. Mm -hmm. Or because we'll die. No. Uh, or you will die. Will die pr promptly. Okay, so repeat. You better stop smoking, you, or you will die. Uh -huh, you better stop it. Stop it. Uh, the fear, or you'll die. You will die. You will die. Very good. Thank you. Can you please repeat? You better stop, or you will die. You better stop or you will die. Very good. Leah. Hello. Hi, Leah. I have a problem, Leah. Tell me, what happened? Every day I eat five, maybe ten donuts every day. Now understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David. Mm -hmm. um, you better uh, stop eat donuts or donuts, uh, or you will be will be um, fat. Obese. This. This. Obese. Obese? Fat? Yeah, fat, and gordo, or obeso. Obese. Obese. Uh, okay. Obese. Okay. Okay, or good. Will be obese or will be obese? And the child you uh, and the child you sick uh, sick and die. Okay. Okay, so no more ten donuts, only five. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> no, I'm joking. Anything, donuts. No donuts. No donuts. All right, Leah. I'm, I'm sorry, Leah. Uh, Lou. Yes? I have not slept in 24 hours. Okay. You better uh, go to sleep early today. Or um, you be so. You will. You will. ¿Qué le podría pasar si no duerme? Sí. You will uh, cansado. You ¿Cómo will cómo get sería? sick. Ah, you will be sick. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Evelyn. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Evelyn, I have a problem. Okay, tell me. I am married. Mm -hmm. But I have a friend and she's very beautiful. And I, I, I will see her tomorrow. My friend. <laughs> okay. Mm, do you have... Mm, no. You should. No, no, you better. You better. You better stop uh, 
see you here. You better stop see her. You better not see her. Ah, okay. You better not see her because you or you should have a pro or you will divorce. <laughs> Very good. Oh yeah. Yeah, you better not see her or you will get divorced. Okay. You better not see her or you will divorce. Get divorced. Get divorced. All right, good. Thank you. Um, all these are examples, okay, class? So don't. Um, <laughs> hello, Irene. Hi. How are you? Fine. Um, I have a problem. Yes, tell me. Wait, I am thinking of my problem. What, what is my problem? <laughs> oh, okay. At this moment, it, it is 9.40, correct? Yes. Huh. I need coffee, but I, I want to go to sleep, but I think I'm going to drink coffee. Okay, you better not drink coffee or you will not sleep early. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Yeah, you say, hey man, you better not drink coffee or you will not sleep. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. All right, Marlon. Hi, teacher. How are you, Marlon? Hey, good, good. Very good. Uh, listen, Marlon. Yeah, teacher. I am going to go to La Campanera tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go eat pupusas to La Campanera. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. You better not visit of Campanera, the Campanera, mm -hmm. or you wild or kill it. <laughs> 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 yeah, you better not visit La Campanera or you will be killed. Be killed, be killed, sorry. <laughs> okay, very good. Hey, very good people. You see, it's not, it's not difficult, right? It was, it was not difficult. Very good. So that's, la, la diferencia de, de un consejo a una advertencia es esa. El consejo sería, no, teacher, you shouldn't go to La Campanera. It's dangerous. Es un consejo, you should. Pero una advertencia es, you better not go or, or you will, or you will be killed. Yes. All right. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. Now it's raining very hard by my house. Yeah, what no. about in your house, Leah? It's raining, but uh, a bit. Really, I don't know. <laughs> I can see the uh, the the. Garden, the garden, the garden. The garden. I can see the garden. I think I'm going to take my car outside of the garage mm -hmm. so I can wash. Because my car is white, man, always dirty. Don't buy a white car. It's always dirty. Okay, so class, do you have any questions with can, could, would, should, have to, must? No. No? Yes, I understand. Okay, uh, Marlon, are you there? Hello, Marlon, are you there? Yeah, teacher, yeah, teacher. Okay, Marlon, no, no, 
it's okay, Marlon, you work in the bypass or La Libertad, correct? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, in your job, you must or you have to use a protection helmet? Mm. I'm not concurring uh, the sun or had to had to and um, other route other route no i'm sorry but you work in construction correct oh okay okay you work in construction correct see sí. okay so you must in in your job you must use the protection cap or you have to use the protection cap? What do you think is the correct way? Okay, okay, no. You must, in the correct uh, equipment or security. Okay, very good, yes. You must, right? I see no, it's not negotiable. Yeah. All right, very good, yes. No es negociable. Exacto. All right, good, 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 good. Exactly. Also, uh, puede, you can, un, it's a problem. You can, it's a problem. So, relation of security, uh, accidente, o cualquier otro tipo de cosas. Yeah, because uh -huh, you say you better use a, you, <laughs> bueno, para protection hat, ahí ya sería usar a must, y you better. Okay. <laughs> Como a class, uh, okay, people, you must use a protection, always. You better use a protection or you will die. In an accident, you will die. <laughs> That's that's how you say it. Yeah, in our country we have a law about security, safety, and the work. Oh, okay. The most. All right, Luis, can you do me a favor? Can you ask Leah a question with could? Question. Could. With, yes, with could. Uh, question. Yes, please. Okay, could you please uh, could, can or could? Would. Could, could. Could, could. Uh, could you um, could you please uh, read a book in one in one hour could you read a book in one hour maybe repeat the question please could you could you could you, could you please read a book in one hour maybe i i could uh, but it depends the 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 number page depends on the book <laughs> Depends on the book, the yes. number, the page, the number of times. The pages, yes. Because it's a, if it's pages. a book for children, oh man, five minutes. <laughs> or, or three minutes. All right, um, can you, Leah, can you please tell Lou a would you mind question? Would you mind for, for who? Uh, to Lou. Lou, okay. Um, mm, give, me, give me one moment. Uh, okay. Lou, uh, would you mind borrow $100, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, if I have, no, if 
tuviera, ¿cómo se diría? If I have. If I have a uh, $100, I borrow to you. But I can't. <laughs> it's okay if I have. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> Lou, would you, would you mind borrow $100, please? And my answer was, if, ¿cómo era? Podría. <laughs> if I, I have, would, I would, but I can't, but I, ha, I don't have. dollars I gave to you, but I can't, I don't have. Okay, entonces no es I would, entonces sería I wouldn't. I wouldn't, yes. Okay. No, porque ella le preguntó, ¿le importaría darme 100 dólares? Usted dice, no, no me importaría, pero no los tengo. Ah, sería un solo I wouldn't. Uh -huh. You say, yes. no, I wouldn't mind, but I don't have that money. Okay. I have a question, class. Si yo digo en español así, yo tengo un gran problema porque yo siempre presto dinero. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué entienden It's por cool. eso? All people say, you give me money, please. No, no, pero oigan esto. Yo, yo siempre presto el dinero. ¿Qué entienden por eso? ¿Que yo doy o pido? Yo siempre presto dinero, dijo. Ajá, oigan, hey, yo tengo un gran problema porque es que siempre he tenido problemas porque yo siempre presto dinero. Ajá, según yo lo entiendo de buenas a primeras, sería que usted da dinero. Ok. Eh, en, en, en gramáticas, en gramática, ¿qué? ¿En español? Hola. Es que usted presto, es que usted Arranca. da, el verbo Ajá. prestar, Ajá, usted da. Me presta, es diferente, gramaticalmente. Pero, pero siempre es el mismo verbo. Ajá, pero es que nosotros también usamos presto para dar, o sea, porque es me prestó. Más no, que todo. Me, pre me prestan, prestan. O sería. Yo, ajá. Es que yo le he escuchado también así como lo dice el profe, de eh, me prestan o me pre o me presto dinero, o sea, sí. Sí, sí porque yo puedo de decir. Si a veces te me dicen, ¿a qué te dedicas? Ah, yo presto dinero. Ajá, o sea, da dinero de buena manera. Entender, yo, entonces yo creo que en español es depende del tono como lo decimos. ¿verdad? Ajá. No, el contexto también. El contexto. Vaya, la razón que les digo eso porque en inglés hay una palabra para cada uno. Para dar y recibir. Ajá, y hoy fue bueno porque Lía dijo mal eso y le voy a explicar por qué. No, entiendo. Eh, Lend, oigan bien esto, Lend es el que da. Borrow is receive. Ahora voy a repetir mi, mi ejemplo, oigan esto. I have a problem, I always lend money. ¿Qué dije? Que siempre recibe. No, no perdón, siempre da, da siempre dinero. Da. Yo siempre doy prestado. No, oh, money. I have a problem. I always borrow money. Y ahí es siempre pedir. Recibe. Y yo prestado. Money. Mm. Pero Recibe. mi idea era, Lu, podrías prestarme. Por eso le dije borrow. Ok, pero vaya, muy bien. A eso voy. No, estaba muy bien, pero obviamente no, no sabía la diferencia. ¿Quién le va a dar el dinero? Ella a mí, porque uh -huh. le, okay, le, entonces, le dije Lou. Ok, entonces sería así. Lou, would you lend me $100? Ah, sería darme dinero. Ah, porque ahí está siendo específico. Violia, yes. está diciendo, would you lend me $100? Y ahí como usa el good you might, porque la, esa era la, la frase original. Ah, ok. Good you might. Uh -huh. Como ahí como va you. Entonces, would you mind lending me $100? Get me, get me, darme. Yes. 
Entonces, yo nunca me había puesto a pensar en eso en español hasta que hace años empecé a dar ese verbo, lend and borrow. Y yo, hey, es cierto, ¿verdad? porque en español solo usamos uno y depende cómo lo decimos, entendemos. Se entiende, ajá. Ajá. Y, y, es, y es lo que, no se preocupe, Lía, es un error bien común que todos usamos porque todo como en español así lo usamos, así lo decimos, pero... Hay una forma para decir dar. Vaya, usémoslo con can. Uh, Luis. Yes, teacher. Yes. Pídame prestado 100 dólares con can. Yes. The question was... Pídame 100 dólares. Ah, ok. Can you, Pídame antes que me lo gaste. Ok, can you, can you let me $100, please? Very good, very good. ¿Por qué lend? ¿Por qué so lend? Because I need to receive money for you. Ok, good. Because you're specific. Can you lend me? Hoy pídame los $100, dólares, pero no use, no use lend, use borrow. Can you borrow me $100, please? No. That's not correct. ¿Quién va a recibir los $100? You. ¿Ah? You. You. No, yo, yo, yo se lo voy a prestar a usted. Okay. I, I don't have to hear the different borrow and lend. Okay. Because okay. Lend. Me too. Me too. I don't borrow understand. Borrow is a loan or not. <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> First, <laughs> saben que es activo y pasivo, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. yeah. El activo hace, el, el pasivo recibe. Entonces, lend is active. Borrow mm -hmm. is passive. Recibir. So, vino Luis y me dijo, teacher, can you lend me $100? Is correct. Porque hizo bien las formas. Dijo you porque tú es el que vas a prestar, dar el dinero. So, can you lend me $100? Good. Y si vamos a preguntar con borrow, la misma pregunta, pero sería así. Teacher, can I borrow $100? My money for you, right? All right, all right. Okay, Luis. Usted me va a pedir dinero a mí. Yes. En las dos formas, usando uh, lend y usando borrow. What is the difference? <laughs> okay, what? yeah. The difference is no, no, los pronombres, no. the pronouns. Uh, okay. Porque imagínese, okay, voy a usar un ejemplo. Lucía. Yo le voy a pedir 50 dólares a Lucía. Lucía, can you Lend me $25. Está pidiendo, ¿verdad? Estoy pidiendo sí. de ah. usted a mí. Uh -huh. O, y porque es el verbo lend. Yes. Pero si voy a hacer el verbo borrow, ya no voy a usar you. Hoy voy a usar I. Um, so, Lucía, oh. can I... Borrow 100, I'm sorry, can I borrow $25? Y usted no me lo preguntaría, sí, solo para recibir. Para es la misma pregunta. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí, o sea, you, refiriéndose a mí, sino que refiriéndose a usted. <risa> sí, o sea, es la misma pregunta. O sea, si voy a usar lend, obviamente uso you porque usted me va a dar el dinero. Si okay. uso borrow, obviamente voy a usar I porque I. yo lo voy a recibir. Okay. Pero la cosa es que usted me va a dar 25 dólares. <risa> yeah. Sí, sí, lo entendí. Ajá, entonces por eso, sí, es, puede ser un poco confuso, pero aquí tienen que practicarlo. Porque okay. es confuso, número uno, porque no existe en español. <risa> y número dos, obviamente es primera vez que lo están viendo, pero la diferencia aquí está en los pronombres. Teacher, yes. Eh, one question. 
land is the meaning is alone, right? Fresh No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. No. Maria Mona Cosa. Uh, oh, Ivoro, no. What Luis, is Luis, <laughs> Luis, dígame, yes. dígame, yo recibí prestado 100 dólares, 1000 dólares del banco. I received one thousand dollars. No, no, pero no me usa el verbo recibir. Usando lend or borrow, ¿cuál sería? Borrow. Ok, entonces borrow. dígame. I, I borrow one thousand dollars from, from the, the bank. bank. Very bank. good. Hoy dígame, el banco me dio mil dólares. Uh, the bank give me one thousand dollars. No, the bank lent the bank me. Lent me. Ok, the bank lent me one thousand dollars in this afternoon. Vio la diferencia, la historia es igual. Lo que cambió fue los pronombres, porque quién recibió y quién dio. ¿Quién dio? Okay. Eh, eso es lo que entiendo, que puede ser un poco confuso, pero ya cuando le agarran la onda van a ver que no lo es. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Lía, dígame, mi hermana me prestó su carro. My sister let me her car. Very good. Hoy dígame, yo le presté, yo le pedí prestado el carro a mi hermana. I, eh, I borrowed, pero sería en pasado. I borrowed, I borrowed the uh, car. The, the, my sister car. Very good. Excellent. Ahí está. Evelyn. Yes. Dígame. Pregúnteme, ¿me podría yo prestar 100 dólares de usted? Can I borrow Excellent. 100 dólares from you? Very good. Y ahí fíjese que realmente no tiene que decir from you, porque solo dice, hey teacher, can I borrow 100 dólares? Ah, ok. Porque obviamente estamos... Ahora dígame la otra forma. Eh, dígame, ¿me podría dar usted 100 dólares? ¿Prestar 100 dólares? ¿Cómo haría? Can you let me 100 dólares? Excellent. Very good. Yes. Así es. Irene. Yes. Voy a prestar 5 mil dólares del banco. Ok. I will lend $5,000 from the bank. Wow, Irene, usted tiene dinero. O sea, que usted <laughs> le va a dar dinero al banco. Sorry, sorry. I borrow. Wow. I borrow $5,000 from the bank. Very good, yes. I will borrow $5,000 from the bank. Good. O, cual otra, o la otra forma, ¿cómo podría ser? Um... The bank. The, the bank lent me $5,000. Dollars. $5, Dollars. Yeah. Very good. The bank will lend me $5,000. Excellent. Okay. Hey, ya, la, ya entendieron. Very good. All right. Marlon. Hi, teacher. Hello, Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Pídale... Pídale uh, azúcar a Lea. No. no, ¿quién era la que siempre pedía prestada azúcar? Ah, en el chavo era. El, el chavo del ocho. Okay. ¿Me podría prestar? No. no. Uh, Marlon, pídale a Lea ten dólares. Uh, ok. Hi, Lea. You lend, uh, you lend, uh, can you, can you, can you lend, uh, <laughs> not very good. Can you lend me? Can you let me? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Lia, yes or no? I don't know. <laughs> Depends. 
it depends. Okay, Marlon, I like it. Uh, let, let you $10. No, I borrow, borrow. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> give you, give you. Give lend you. $10. Lend you. Lend you. Lend Pero ahí, ahí, ahí le puede agregar un poquito más, le, le puede decir, okay, I will lend you $10 and you Mas, better pay me back or I will find you. Okay. Como dándole el día específico o algo así. No, no, mentira. Es que se acuerda no, que estábamos sí. haciendo advertencias. Sí, le voy a dar los 10 dólares, pero más vale que me pague o la voy a buscar. Mm. Yes. Sería, me gustaría, sería, yes, I, I like it, but I like it, lend, lend you eh, 10 dólares, but, uh, but I need you. <laughs> Let me tomorrow in the morning. Okay, yeah. You say, yeah, I would like to lend you $10, but tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> Very good. Entonces, saben que esto, esto es bien difícil explicarlo en español a alguien que está aprendiendo inglés. Porque, ¿cómo decirle a... Um, Ah, especialmente alguien que habla inglés. No, es que en español solo se dice de una forma. O sea, que, pero no, ¿por qué? O sea, solo se dice borrow. Así como lo hacemos nosotros. ¿verdad? Y realmente es dar prestado y recibir prestado. Yes. Eh, yo por eso siempre he dicho de que el español es tan feo. No es feo, es complicado, es horrible. Y debemos ser muy agradecidos que podemos hablar español. Es un sufrimiento ver a alguien querer aprender español. Por nunca, no, voy a dar un ejemplo. Nunca han visto los gringos que ellos hablan. Um, yo querer comer. Sí. ¿Por qué hablan así? Porque lo traducen. I, yo. Want, ¿cómo se dice want en español? Querer. Eat, comer. Ah, oh, ok. Entonces dicen ellos, ah, yo querer comer. Lo que sí los pobres no saben. Vaya, por ejemplo, porque en, en inglés así es. Yo quiero, I want, you want, we want, they want. Nunca cambia el verbo. Y vienen ellos y, ah, entonces yo querer, tú querer, ella querer, nosotros querer. Lo que los pobres no saben de que el verbo cambia con cada pronombre. El verbo es querer, pero si decís yo, es yo quiero. Si decís tú, es tú quieres. Pero si decís usted, es usted quiere. Y si decís nosotros queremos, y se quedan, what? Ah. O sea, imagínense, pobrecito. Imagínense el verbo de sí. querer, yo quiero, tú quieres, queremos, quieren, quiere. Seis veces cambia el verbo. Solo parece algo tan simple de querer comer. Cuando en inglés son los, es lo que cambia el pronombre. I, you, we, she, y el verbo queda igual. Es, es por eso, alegrémonos sí. que hablamos español. Ok, class, um, I will see you Monday, ok? Ok, okay. teacher, okay. thank you. Thank you, have a nice Good day. Night. Thank you very much, you have a great night. Good a night weekend. Thank you, you better close the windows or you will get wet. <laughs> you better too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.